All this drama happening here at ICC Cricket Academy. I've been joined by Ahmed Khwaja, who's loving these scenes where he can see the wicket keeper from Pakistan. Oh, indeed, Mohammed Rizwan just hanging around watching the live action from the ICC Academy Summer Cup. Pakistan in here for a training session. Of course, they're playing on Friday once again in the Asia Cup. Inside edge. So as they're bowling those wide arm sliders, targeting the pads. Khalid Ibrahim just hit a mighty six. And there you can see on the right, Mr. Adil Mirza, the owner of Future Mattress, meeting Mohammad Rizwan. Wonderful scenes. Big hit towards cow corner. And it's into the bushes, into the grass banks for a biggie. Well, the soon this man saw Mohammad Rizwan. A bit of a copying him on this ground. Hits it for a maximum. That's gone for a half a dozen. Brilliant hit. Khalid Ibrahim, he's been brilliant with the ball. And now, with the willow in hand, he's produced two gigantic sixes. They've lost six wickets here. Paddy boys, but the batting has been aggressive right throughout. Current run rate 8.65. That will take them to a healthy 171 here, Abid. Yeah. Coming over the wicket now to the righties, Mohammad Azhar. And there you can see, just slowed it up there. It should have been a single there. Saki Bamir was not convinced. Well, with Khalid Ibrahim in, we are expected to get few blows. I've seen him hitting in the last game as well. So he's a very good hard hitting all rounder who bowls with new ball and gives you those. Turning away from him this time. Nicely bowled slower in the air. So Khalid needs to be a bit careful here. You still have more than four overs to play. You want to be smart with your hitting. Don't go hell for leather and give your wicket away. Oh, this one gone big. He's least bothered what you're talking about, Khwaja. He's gone big. He's gone for a maximum. Slot ball and dispatched. Look at that arm swing. Look at that power. Beautiful hit there. Into the schools. 140 for six with four overs to go. Well, I think uh, it's a perfect time to hit those maximums when you need the most. 140 with six wickets down. Aryan Lakra into the attack. Quick single attempted. And has Shakur executed the run out? I think he's missed it there. Another opportunity wasted by Future Mattress. Oh, that was hit on the onside. Quick pick and throw. Oh, I think Shakur has dislodged the wheels, maybe with his bats. That is what went wrong. Spot on there, Abid. Very lucky escape there for Khalid Ibrahim. They do not want to lose his wicket. He is striking those mighty maximums for fun. 18 runs scored. All three were sixes. Three wickets on the night for Aryan. Hit hard, flat towards long on. And that's a brilliant catch by Amjad Go. Well, that was a much needed wicket. That was the wicket Aryan was looking for and the team future mattress. Oh, great catch by Amjad Gul. Need to cover it up. He dropped earlier one. Khalid Ibrahim, the dangerous batsman, departs scoring 18 of uh, 8 deliveries. Those were only by hitting maximums. 141 for 7. On the onside, Aryan with four wickets. Oh, he's just one wicket away for his uh, Pfeiffer and got three deliveries left. Now well, your wicket's going down to this man. Made his ODI and T20I debut just 
a couple of months ago for the UAE national team. His confidence must be sky high. Wonderful performer. Inside edge. Fine leg is in the circle, but Ali Shan Sharifu will clean it up. In the most of the damage. Once again, trying to just smash it out of the park, losing his shape there. Zaid Wani needs to remain a lot more upright. Don't try to drag it on the leg side. And one delivery to go for Aryan to get his Pfeiffer. Can he get it? Can he get into. Oh, that struck him on the back. Big appeal. But it's been turned down. <laughs> well, it was still a very good day with the ball for this young man. 4 for 29. It's, they have to bat the entire 20 overs. Attempted Yorker. Nicely bowled by Ozer. This pair at the crease need to make sure they do not get bowled out. Well, I think that back in the mind. Yeah, you need to just hold back on your stroke play, perhaps. Wait for that big hit late in the over. Pushing one to extra cover chance for a run out. Oh, a direct hit from Ali Shan who was needed there. Yeah, Zed Wani. Very good entrant into the side for future matches. Mohamed Uzair Khan, he's bowled beautifully tonight. Bowled into the midriff there of Sakib. That's that blind spot underneath the right hand batter's left shoulder can be difficult to play the ball from that angle of it and we have seen over Ozer has got his first wicket as the captain Usman Thrambu who hit him for the six and then got trapped on the next <coughs> delivery it was just a cutter from the left arm up. so just coming through that blind sport where he couldn't read the change of pace coming around the wicket now Onto the pads, fired down the leg side. They will scamper for a leg by. It's speaking of the Valley Boys, overloaded with batting talent. Oh, that struck him on the pad, and he's been given. That was absolutely plumb. Mohammad Uzair gets his third wicket of the night. Oh, that's right in front, trapped. Uh, hardly you need to appeal for that. Dumper would be raising his finger. And that's the third for the night for Mohamed Uzair. It would be a crime to get bowled out here. Mohamed Uzair, he's hunting for wickets. All excellent lines. Mixed it up beautifully. Coming around the wicket. Oh, attempted Yorker. Just got his bat down in time. Madasir concludes a brilliant over for Mohamed Uzair Khan. 147 for 8. Akif back into the attack. He only bowled one over of his board. This has been sliced over point. Fielders trying to get underneath it. But he'll drop in front of the offside sweeper, Heather Ali, coming in as substitute. And I think this is a bowler. Perhaps they can take a chance. Head off, just throw your bat at it. You could get lucky. Let's see if we can nail those block hold Yorkers. Nicely bowled back of a length, pushed to extra charge for a run out. Oh, he's missed his throw. Once again from that extra cover angle. <sighs> yeah, I think Azhar had a lot of time to execute that throw. He should have hit that timber. A yeah, player of his quality, certainly. I was expecting not easy to run those quick ones and twos. Down the leg side. Oh, he stuck it around the corner. Outstanding fielding. Was that Sayyid Haider Wasi Shah? Incredible! I think that was Ali Shah. No, Wasi Haider. That was Wasi Shah. Spot on Khwaja. There you go. Good fielding effort. That was difference. The youngsters put in the side. Well, he saved a boundary for his side there. Brilliant fielding. He is a wicket keeper by trade as well. And you can see wonderful athlete. 150 up for Valley Boys. There's the Yorker we wanted to see. Excellent bowling, Raja Akif. I think Yorkers are the key here. Oh, or perhaps you need to be wicked to wicked. Especially when they need some streaky shots from somewhere. Mudasewani on strike. Nicely punched towards mid-off in the circle. Well, he's trying his best out there with Sakib Amin. 
it's just a sheer job especially Aryan yes. he was the true game changer you're spot on short ball he had no clue where it went but it's just skewed away to that deep third region and it will only be one that will conclude Raja Akif's efforts for the night with the ball 152 for 8 with one over to go Mohamed Uzair to bowl the final over around the wicket Inside edge onto the boot. Almighty heave there from Saqib Amin. He was looking to hit that out of the bye. 3 for 16 on the day. Excellent control with his left arm spin. Once again, right between the sticks. Nowhere to go. They only take a straight single. Perhaps they can attempt a scoop, delivery to execute it, that's the question. Final four deliveries. Mohamed Uzair, all they need to do is get a little bit of a boundary of that. Incredible batting lineup. Oh, he did go for that scoop around the corner, but missed. Uzair is not too quick as his. Ark of Raja, not so express, but then he's got plenty of hard, a lot of shoulder in his action. Slower delivery, just when Abid Ibrahim called it, how change of pace is playing its part, especially when it comes to death overs. It's been an excellent over, only one run of four deliveries. And Mudassirwani latch on to one. Hit straight back. You only get one. So even 160 looks beyond their reach right now. It's been a wonderful fight back by Future Mattress in the second half of the innings. To reach 160, you need to hit maximum. With Saqib Amin, who spent a lot of time in the center. Then here we go. Decent effort, but they'll be disappointed with the way they batted in the first 10 innings. And then this almighty collapse, losing so many wickets in the second half, Abid. Yeah, you have a lot of time, Shakur, to take the bales off and did well. But the team future matters in the end. They have gone for 10 runs and over in the first half of the game when it was 10 overs. And then uh, in the end, Aryan Lakra, Rohan, Mustafa, Mohamed Azad, the, all these spinners have put on a very good show to contain some runs and keep on picking up the wickets. They did so good to restrict the remaining 10 overs going only for 55. I reckon brilliant show this is from Future Mattress. Yeah, they turned it on when they really needed it. Especially the spin trio of Aryan Lakra. Mohamed Azhar, Amjad Gul as well, Rohan Mustafa there and I think they'll be pretty content to chase a target of 156. Well, let's take a look at the highlights of the first innings. It was Usman Trambu who had the early aggression.